What's going on? Welcome on in. We're talking about how to connect Weeble to TradingView so you can trade on these TradingView charts that we're looking at right now through your Weeble account. Pretty simple process. We're going to walk you through it. Let's get into it. So right now I'm looking at my trading view layout. We've got plenty of videos explaining how we got to this point and you know, it's fairly straightforward uh, when it comes to trading view. If you've used trading view, you probably are familiar with something that looks like this. The bottom of your trading view screen is what we're going to be focused on when it comes to pulling this up and connecting to Weeble. I'm going to get myself off the screen and we're going to show you step by step so you can see everything. And then I'll show you how you can actually place trades, but there's a couple of caveats. Okay. So I went full chart. And the bottom of our screen, you see where it says paper trading and it has this green dot? It may not say that for you. I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says show panel in the bottom right. I'm going to raise that up. I am now going to go to where it says paper trading and I'm going to log out of paper trading. Okay. Now I'm going to maximize this panel so you can see all the brokers. Actually, I'm going to click on see all brokers next. So you can now you can see all the brokers. So I have starred the ones that I have used and that I still do use. If I want to trade on my trading view charts, here is where you will see a list of brokers and Weeble has now recently been added to this option. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this Weeble icon and now we are going to connect to Weeble. So what's going to happen is it's going to take you over to Weeble. It's going to ask you to log in. And when you log into Weeble, you'll enter your trading password to confirm that it is you. And now you should be connected. And right now in my Weeble account, I have two trial small caps that I'm holding on to. But what we have right here is my positions. So you'll be able to see your positions, your open orders, your history, account summary notifications, all of that great stuff. Okay. This is what you're going to have when you log in to Weeble. You'll have your account information at the top. And now we have PL on the top right balance, PL, all that stuff. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to lower this down. So it's at the bottom of our screen. So we can see what we have at the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where it says trade, which is right next to this Weeble green dot. That's what you want to be paying attention to. When you are connected, there will be a green dot next to your broker, in this case, Weeble, and that will be telling you you're good, you're connected. When you click on trade, you'll now open up the DOM, the depth of market, or the order panel. This is the order panel right here, and then DOM is essentially your price ladder, okay? Now, this is what you'll be able to use to place trades. You cannot trade options as of right now. That is one of the caveats. And there could be some features that you may not have access to when trading on trading. But you are trading with TradingView's trading platform. Just all you're doing is you've brought in the connection to your Weeble account. And so you can place trades when looking at your TradingView charts on Weeble, right? Through your Weeble account. So you never have to open the Weeble app if you don't want to. Now, who is this for? This is for someone who wants to be able to do all of their charting analysis and trading in one place. It simplifies the process and it makes it easier. Is it the best for active traders who trade options or who trade this or that? Maybe not. It really comes down to a case by case basis. And you have to at least ask those questions for yourself. You know, does trading view offer what I want, what I need to take advantage of, and what I can use. We've got other videos on the channel. I don't want to waste too much of your time here when it comes to entering orders, but you have market orders, you've got limit orders, you've got stop orders, and you've got stop limit orders. And then you can adjust your take profits by ticks, price, percentages, dollar amounts, all that stuff. So I like it a lot. I really do. But you just have to make sure that it fits the way you trade. So now I'm going to click on the bottom of my screen, one of my current positions which I'm currently down $24 on. So you can now see how it's going to look when I enter a position. This is a small cap position that I am playing for essentially a spike and essentially trying out a strategy that I have used in the past. Not the best strategy. Don't really worry about that. That's not the point of this video by any means. It's just testing some things out with a few hundred dollars on the line. So right now you see my have my average price at 600 shares. So it'll tell you the amount of shares, your position. It has a current P&L. It has a current price or this, this p l is based off where the current price is. And this blue line that goes across is where my average is. And then I have sell limits. So if we see PIK hit boom, 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 or, or spike up, but I'm not paying attention or I'm not around, these cells will hit and I'll get taken out at those prices. So it's quite simple. It's not super, super difficult in order to do this. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to set one more cell. So I'm going to go to limit cell for hundred units, in this case, units is shares. And I'm gonna set that for, let's just go up to like $1.25 to show you guys how this would look. For 125, 100 units, boom. 
and I'm gonna go to where it says cell, limit cell, boom. And now time and force is good till canceled, so it'll stay alive until I cancel it. I click on cell, send order, and just like that, it pops up at the top end of the screen or at the higher end right here. So now you can see how that works. And it will work the exact same way on limit buys and all that stuff. Right now it's just about pre-market. The market's about to open in literally three minutes. And so I will get some action here, but I have this set up and I can go about my day. And, and if these hit, I can come back and check in and see, oh, my trades hit, boom, boom, boom. Do what I gotta do, log it, journal it if I want to. Speaking of journaling, if you're looking for a platform to journal your trades, which I use every single day, it is like the best platform in the game. When it comes to all that stuff, it tracks everything for you, all these different metrics. I'd highly recommend checking out Tradezilla. We'll leave a link to Tradezilla below this video for those who are interested. Hope this was helpful. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Check out other videos if you have other questions about things like this, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.